So now we're at the beginning of round three because we're back to hook one. And we're going to stop here for a second. I'm going to let go of this yarn that I've been holding on to. And you see the machine's actually holding the yarn. Now I'm going to kind of put my hand under right here and just hold on to the machine with my left hand. And now is the time to make sure that your yarn is coming freely out of the bottom and that your weight is hanging freely. Now it's kind of the free time. And also you want to make sure that your yarn is uh, you're feeding, the yarn that's feeding it is moving freely and that it's flowing freely and that there is no tension. And now is when you get to start cranking and a lot faster. <laughs> Not super fast, but a lot faster. Okay, so now we're going to start cranking. And now the I cord, you want to keep an eye on your I cord here in the middle and keep an eye on your yarn at the same time. Uh, make sure that nothing is obstructing. And now, if you watch in the center, you'll see your I cord starting to form. And you want to make sure that no little knots or tension or pulling is occurring over there where the yarn is feeding. And that We'll keep everything going just right. I think if the yarn were on a spool, it would work better. But I don't have my yarn on a spool, so... Um, but, you know, it seems to work this way. And I do think that this is faster than knitting it the traditional way. And you do get a nice, even product. But I can't stress enough that the yarn really does have to be uh, without tension. So pretty soon, I think the yarn is going to start to come out of the bottom. You're going to start to see it coming out of the bottom. And uh, I think we're doing that. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. See, it's starting to come out. So you can, um, at some point, you move the clamp up. You don't ever want the clamp to hit the floor because then the clamp would not be weighting the yarn, the I-cord down. And you always have to have weight pulling it down. That's part of how this machine works. So, and you can clamp the, you can put the clamp on the I-cord right now. I have it on this on the thread, but you can put it on the I-cord. Um, if you were making a really long I-cord, you could do that. And uh, I'm going to make this a little longer. Let's see. So at some point, you, you say to yourself, well, gee, how long is this I-cord? So you can stop and you can you, when you want to measure it, you can see already, you can see when it's like this, it's the clamp is uh, stretching it. So you take it and you remove the clamp. And you're really just removing it temporarily because uh, you need to measure it. So you take the clamp off. And you know that the, at least this machine, is uh, four and a half inches from this point to this point. You can see that if you measure it from the top of where the I-cord starts to here, it's about four and a half inches. So then you know you've got four and a half inches of I-cord in there. And if you um, measure what's coming out, because once you release the clamp, it it, uh, it shrinks back up pretty much. That's, a, that's about four inches. So if I wanted a little more I-cord, I you always have to remember to re return the clamp to it. And, and for example, I can I can put the clamp on the I card and put this back. Mm, see, I know 
a little longer. Keep going. And one thing to remember is you once you cut it, that's it. You cannot make it longer. You can always make it shorter. Because the way you get it out of the machine is to cut the yarn. So always, uh, you know, remember, you can unravel it when it's finished and make it a little shorter, but you cannot make it longer. So uh, once you decide you have it long enough, you cut the yarn. Cut it. And then... That's, and now's the time you need something soft on the floor because you keep cranking and what's going to happen is the weight of the clamp is going to pull the I-cord through the machine and then it's, you're either going to catch it or it's going to drop on the floor. But since I'm using one hand to crank it and one hand to hold the machine, I, unless you drop it onto your lap, I don't know where else you're going to drop it. So I just let it drop on the floor and I like to have something soft because the uh, clamp is made is covered with plastic and I don't really want it to break. So um you unclamp the clamp and now you you're almost finished. You have the I cord. Here's where you here's where your I cord started and that's the part that was being held by the clamp. What you started, and then here's the end. Now, um, if it's too long, you measure it and decide. You can unravel it and just uh, pull this thread and unravel it. Get it to the length you want it, or it might be the right length. And then to bind it off, you just take your needle. You can use this one, or you can use any tapestry needle that you might have. And you just thread it through the four loops that are here. Two, three. Oh, this one. There you go. One, two, three, four. I'll do it a second time. One, two, three, four. And you're done. Uh, then you would uh, weave your ends in, and I would probably just weave them, you know, down in like that, and snip them off, and then you're all done. And you have a beautifully uh, nice, even high cord, and that's it.